okay. They'll be okay. I can't. Can I zoom in? You are. It's on now, and I am bringing you up. I'm good. I'm on. Yeah. I, yep. I'm trying to get this off the screen. Can you see yourself? Mm hmm.
cute date idea where you have your honey come together. Well, you can do it two ways. If this is early on, ladies, you can be like, oh, honey, with your partner. Let's see what your partner can do in the kitchen. Okay? And it's also a good opportunity to see how you guys work as a team. So, I, I don't know. I think this is a great one. And if you have another couple, like couple friends, this would be a great idea of a date to do together. This is something I would definitely pick up. But you guys get to experience all of this right here at home. You can get your boo or your bae if you want to, but for free. Okay, so I will check in and I will be right back and we'll see where things are. In the meantime, that's home cooking. Let me see if anybody else is here. We have any comments? Okay, someone said they are trying to send a question through, but it's not popping up there. What you can do, because I also have a Casey's email address, so if you want to email it, or send it as a message, um, we'll be happy to answer that for you. What is that? Okay, can I, okay, I would, I would love to read this message. Um, we got two people in the building, so excited to be cooking it up with you guys, with you ladies tonight. Um, we have, oh, <laughs> I will, I'll tell her right now. So, mommy, well, when mommy comes back, I'll be sure to tell her. Um, but hello, my wonderful cook friend who is really stepping up my cooking game. I love that. I love this date night live, but I'll have to rewatch because, oh, congratulations with your graduating three grandchildren. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. My, uh, Casey talks about you all the time, and we're so happy that you're part of this community. Okay, we have Pam. Nice to see you. So excited that you're here. Okay. Is anybody cooking? Is anyone going to try to take notes so you can cook along? Oh, and Miss Lois, if you have any questions or anything you would like KC to cover during the cooking time, like, hey, can you show me some of this or can you show me some of that? I'll make sure I read her those comments so that we can get you that extra special attention during uh, the cooking live show. Okay? <laughs> she adores you. I'm telling you, I wish you could be a fly on the wall, Miss Lois. She, she, you bring, you lift her spirit so much. And she talks about you all the time. And even if she's like, oh, I don't feel like doing it today, she's like, I got my girl out there. I got Miss Lois out there waiting. So, yeah, so you, you make more of a difference than you know. And this is from the firstborn. 
telling you that. If you are connected on Facebook at all, anyone, if anyone's connected on Facebook and you want to share the link to this video with your community, we would love to have um, anybody else who's interested join for our date night. Hi! <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Um, and for those who are just coming, you may not have heard me introduce myself at first. My name is Charlie. I am Casey's eldest child, her daughter. And um, I talked a little bit about how I was intimidated at first with cooking. Um, and so I started cooking a bunch of like kind of international foods. So, I, so it wouldn't taste weird when you grow up and your mom is amazing in the kitchen. Anything you cook is like, mmm. You know, so I, that's how I got my start. But now, you know, I'm easing in. I just need to, I need to connect with my Auntie Pam about that, uh, that carrot cake she does with the, with the, what is it? Cream cheese. She does cream cheese frosting. That's like my favorite one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I haven't been called adorable in a long time. It's, well, that's not true. I get called adorable all the time it's because I'm, I'm short, like 5'1". Don't tell your friends. But um, again, Casey is on the way. I have lots of cool stuff in front of me that I'm not supposed to touch because I'll ruin it or something. But uh, in the meantime, feel free to get a water, get a snack, Settle in, pencil and paper, if you are interested. I'm just looking through her stuff. She's gonna watch this back and be like, why are you touching my stuff? I love this, but Casey's blessing. Oh, thank you, okay, see, see? I got a volunteer in the um, audience. Maybe we'll have like a, a guest star to come in and cook that uh that carrot cake with the cream cheese. I need one for my my birthday. I just turned 40. Oh my goodness, I dated myself. I know, it's amazing because my mom doesn't look a day over like what, 37. So how did it happen? I don't know. I don't know. It's genes. <laughs> okay. Yes, you are not supposed to be on your phone, Miss Lois. You can rewatch later. We'll definitely do this again. And congratulations to your grandchildren. Give them all big hugs, big kisses uh, for me and Casey. <laughs> okay. And I will tell her as soon as she. Oh, I'm getting hearts. That's so nice. Again, I'm gonna give you a heads up if you are on Facebook or anything like that. If you wanna share the link, have your friends and your friends' friends and your friends' 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 friends. Come and join us. We'd love to have you. In fact, would it be weird if I did that right now while we're waiting? Would you guys mind if I out a link on my network. I won't do it unless you tell me it's okay. <laughs> oh my God. You know what? You're gonna be my favorite, Miss Lois. We're gonna have to adopt you. I'll call you Gra Grandma Grandma Lois. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to share the link for this, I think. I'm tech savvy a little. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
you know, she stroked my ego. She called me a teenager, so I'm, I'm going to have nothing to say for the rest of the evening. When my, when my son calls me mommy, I said, no, call me hot mommy. No, <laughs> Okay, I'm about to share it on my news feed. Um, cooking with AC tonight. So excited. Okay. I'm sending it now. That means more people may see me. It's okay. <laughs> All right. I sent it out, so we'll see who else comes. Okay, I have honey on the honey in the honey watching me like <laughs> Are you excited about dinner and the cooking thing, honey? Yeah. He's excited. Aww. We love you right back. Thank you. Look at me, we. Look at, I've, I've already attached myself to her coattails. We love you right back. <laughs> okay. Um, Dwayne, thank you so much for being here. If you don't mind, share this live. With your Facebook family, have more people come on down. Okay, so one thing that I did love, she said she's gonna make me the Casey's blessing. She said she's gonna make me some, but we'll see. What I love about uh, the Casey's blessing is it's like oh let me go back let me go back the reason why <laughs> the reason why i love this or the way this came into being i remember talking to my mom um we were inside of a supermarket i was in a supermarket with my husband and my son and we were looking at spices and we saw a spice called soul food the spice was called soul food as if you could pour that little bit of sprinkling over some food and get the magic that Casey creates. And I was like, mommy, if they, if they have a spice, and let me tell you the ingredients. The ingredients were like pepper, salt, and then it was like onion powder, gar garlic powder, and paprika. That's soul, that's soul seasoning. That's soul food seasoning. Okay, so that's me. I'm, I'm done ranting. I will put everything back because she's about to come and now she can't see I touched her stuff. <laughs> put everything back and come on in Casey. Hey everybody, Casey's here, coming to you live. Can you believe it? Hi Lois. Grab a bit of this. Okay, what we're going to do today, Saturday night in my house is date night. See, I got two sets of kids. I have the grown kids that have mates, which this is one of my grown kids' mates, my baby girl's mates, and he's going to be my lovely assistant today. Meet Corey. Yay! Okay, there you go. You can scram. Okay, now, so... We have date night in our house because the whole purpose of this show is all about home, love, getting together, and stop getting out there spending all your money in these restaurants where the food don't taste good. I'm just being real. So, I want to do a wonderful chicken pasta dish. And I just came up with this recipe. So, I know it's going to be fabulous because it is a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I want to start by showing you the ingredients. So, we have some black pepper. We have Casey's Blessing, and I told you it's going to be coming to you real soon. You know, you got to get all that legal stuff together. Once it is, you will be the first to know because we family. 
we got a little bit of Cajun seasoning because I wanted to have a little kick. I'm going to have, of course, Lowry season salt, but I'm doing the low sodium thing. And by the way, Casey's Blessing does not have any sodium in it. So this is going to be really good for people who are hypertensive. What else I got here? I got some Sazon. Sodium, none. No salt. There you go. I have, you know, my Splenda. And you guys can use whatever sweetener you choose. I'm a Splenda kind of girl. And this is what I'll use. And then I have a little bit of cream of celery soup. And the reason why I'm using that is because I like it. <laughs> All right, so let me show you my vegetables. You know I usually have my Trinity girls. Well, I had to leave one of the girls home today and try something different. I do have my red bell pepper, and I have some shallots mixed up in here. And, of course, my nice fresh spray of rosemary. Let me put that back over here because you know what? I have all this stuff already chopped up because I know that you already know how to chop vegetables. And if you don't, put it in the comments. I'll show you everything you need to know about chopping up things evenly for even cooking. I promise you that. Now, we have some portobello mushrooms. This is going to be part of this, and this is going to be delicious. And my daughter's over there shaking her head. The one that was just here because she doesn't like mushrooms. But I made them big enough so she could pick them out. This is what I've had to deal with for years. And now I went and did it again and got some more little children that are picky. I told you guys about that. Anyway, I'm going to put that over there. So I'm going to put this stuff over here on the side. They are terrible. Okay, I have some olive oil. And what else? Did I do everything here? I think I got everything. I don't want to have a senior moment in this. And we have some linguine noodles. Now, if you look at this noodle right here, bring it in a little closer. This noodle is a little bit larger, a little bit flatter. So when it cooks up, it's going to have some body. I don't like to have my noodles al dente. You can do what you want. I like my noodles to be cooked, but they don't have to be mushy. And we're going to show you how to do that. And, of course, this chicken breast. Delicious. We have it chopped up and it's sliced up in nice small pieces. But what I'm going to do is this piece right here, I'm going to be benevolent and show you how it got like this, just in case you're curious. So when we get to the meat, I will do that. Give me a moment. Got to wash my hands. You know, got no, no cross contamination in this house. One moment. I'm not that picky. <laughs> yes, she is. Yes, she is. Okay. So let me get this in here. Let me get my hands all nice and dry. And we can begin. Oh, I think so. I to ask a question. I'm going to move this stuff off of here because I need some space. I have all of these ingredients that I just showed you in these little cups here because I want to look fancy. <laughs> Let me get this stuff over here. Out of my way. Because there's oh, nothing no. worse than cleaning in a cluttered kitchen. Can I ask um, a question from Grandma Lois? Hey there, Lois. What's up? Okay. So her question is, I was told rosemary is a great herb to get rid of inflammation. So what types of dishes can I incorporate with this herb? And can I put some in my hot tea? Well, I'm going to be totally honest with you, oh, Lois. I use rosemary in pretty much everything, okay, and except for our desserts. It gives a most wonderful flavor to everything that you touch. However, I don't know about steeping it in any water, but you know what? You can try that. Put a little Splenda in it, <laughs> and it may taste good. I don't think it's necessary for you to drink it, but eating it is a very good way to keep down your inflammation along with some other things. And like I said, I need for you guys to tell me what you want to approach. I can cook anything. But you need to tell me what you need to know. I'll find out. If I haven't done it, I'll figure it out, and we'll do it together. How about that? All right, so let me get this chicken here. I'm going to get my cutting board, which I should have had out before. But I forgot I had to cut this piece. Let me get this thing out of this junkie board. Anyhow, so I'm going to take this cutting board, guys, and I'm going to go get my little knife. And I'm going to get my cutting scissors. 
But you know what? I'd rather cut it off. I'm not going to sit here and let you watch me cut my fingers. That's the truth. <laughs> so I'm going to take this little piece of meat. So you take your meat like this, and you can do one or two things. You can take this meat, and you can slice it like this if you want. And you see, the pieces are about like that. Or do it the easy way. Take it with your scissors, cut it down the middle. Then you take it, and you cut it like this. And just cut it all up. Just like that. And the chicken doesn't yell as much, you know? <laughs> all chopped up and ready to go. So we're gonna move this piece over and again, I'm gonna wash my hands. And you'll hear me say that a lot when I'm dealing with chicken or any kind of food, but I don't want salmonella. So let me get this over here. Wash that up real nice. Okay, and I'm going to get that chicken off of there, you know, and I started, guys, to cook. I was thinking about cooking the chicken on this hot plate here, real fancy snancy like because I wanted you to see me. But I'm thinking I'm going to use my stove top here because my skillet is really big. And, of course, like I said, everything I do in this piece it's for a lot well, of Oh, you're those. cooking. That's what I was to say. You're okay. cooking for nine, ten of them, yes. eleven of us. Yes, yes. <laughs> So let me get my chicken over here. Follow me, my dear. We're gonna put the chicken there. I'm gonna take this big pot right here. This is what I'm gonna do my um, linguine in. Let me get these things off here. And Corey, if you can assist me getting the stuff up over here and be careful with the oil because I don't want that to spill. If you can put those things, move the paper towels and put the um, seasonings over there for me, it'd be much appreciated. What I am going to do, guys, I'm going to heat up one of these things. I'm going to try them out because I spent my money on it. So, mm -hmm. you can come around here, my lovely daughter. Daughter number two. She's a camera person. Excuse and me. she does all my editing. Can you believe it? All of that editing, everything that you see on my show, my daughter does it. Fantastic. We wrote the theme songs. Yeah, I sing it. It ain't all that great of my singing. <laughs> but you know what? We put it together and we did it as a family. And that's what this show is about. So, I'm going to take this skillet. Do you know what I don't have? Cooking spray. Cooking spray. You guys let me not have cooking spray. And what else did you let me not have? Butter. Oh, gotta have a butter. Makes things all better. So, I gotta get that. One moment. Okay. Anybody know where my cooking spray is? In the cabinet. Okay, let's get in here. In the ma. Ma. Okay. In the cabinet? I'll get it. It's in the pantry. I'll get it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Butter. Cooking spray. There you go. I'm going to spray these pans. Now, these pans are supposed to be non-stick, but you know me, I don't believe anything. I have to make sure nothing sticks in my life, except for my husband. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I don't know if any of you ever heard of Marry Me Chicken. This is longevity chicken, okay? You got him to marry you, now you got to keep him. This is what keeps 43 years going. So, we are going to spray this. And what I'm going to do with this pan, I am going to wilt my vegetables. I am not going to overcook my vegetables. Wilting, you will see what that means. So I'm going to turn this little hot plate on because this is electric and not induction, so i got to get used to cooking with this. I think I'm going to try like a three, which is probably like a medium low, see how it works. So that thing heated up my water in like two minutes on maximum. I'm not trying to burn this stuff. So let me get this. got my butter over here. Let me get that off of there. I gotta, need to get... I'm so sorry. You got to... You go, girl. I got, you got one of those, those comments. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> You ain't seen nothing yet. See, I want all you youngins out here to see this is what 61 looks like. Well. Okay, so let me get something so I can work with. I'm going to get my red spatula because I like the color red. And I am going to check this pan. Okay, that's not enough. So we're going to turn it up a little bit. And you know how I see if my pans are ready. So if it's not dancing with the water, it's not ready to put my stuff in. I'm not feeling any heat here. Okay, don't be playing with me. Because I will send you right back to Amazon. 
<laughs> okay, let's see what you got going. Okay, there you go. There you go. Just gotta treat the babies nice. They take a little time to um to heat up. Well, not necessarily. If you put it on the Big Macs, it'll do its thing. That's for sure. I don't want it to do its thing. I want it to act right. So, while we wait for this to heat up, I'm going to have to put this on Mac. That's what I'm going to have to do. I think I'm being impatient because I'm used to that stove over uh -huh. there. I was trying to avoid you guys having to see the back of my head. Okay. However, if that is what we must do in order to get this food done, this is what we must do. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So why didn't you use the bigger pan to on this? Okay. I like to have certain things separate. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to mix. A lot of people will mix all their things together at one time. Mm -hmm. I don't cook that way. I like to have everything in its own place, and then we marry these seasonings, we marry the flavors, and it gives it a layering effect. That's what I've experienced throughout my years of cooking. You can do it your way. That's what this show is about. I'm going to show you the foundation, then I want you to take it and run with it. I want you to fly. I want you to be fearless. I want you to cook it your way. And when people ask you, well, where do you get this from? You simply say, hey, I stepped it up a notch my way, like Casey did with her stuff. My mother could cook. Oh, yes. But my mother can't cook as good as I could. Uh, no, and I'm just being real about it. I took things from my mother, from other people, and I just kind of incorporated it into the things that I like. Okay, I think we're about ready. We're gonna try this water test. One moment. That makes a bit of sense about why um, the tastes are different. Because I know, like, if for me, I would put it all in one pot. Okay, one let's see. Are we dancing a little? We dancing. We 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 dancing. We we dancing a little bit. So what we gonna do? We gonna take these peppers. I'm gonna take this little sprig of, of rosemary out of here. I'm gonna get this in this pan. Do da do da day. Okay. <laughs> I swear. This is what happens when you drink too much coffee and you've had no sleep. So while this is doing this thing, we're gonna get over here. Okay. And what I'm gonna do while this is doing this thing, and since you wanna stand here and learn, I need for you to watch that for me. Okay. Okay, when it starts to sizzling, you just want to move it around a little bit. Okay. okay? Now I'm going to take my, I'm going to leave my sprig here. I'm going to take this bowl because we need to clean as we go. We don't want a dirty kitchen. So, Grandma Lois is going to get in trouble. She's still peeking in at the live. <laughs> She's still peeking in. She said her grandchildren let her get one more look. Is that one more thing? Thank you, grandchildren. Congratulations. Grandchildren, <laughs> let Grandma look. She's going to hook you up. Tell you. Okay, so let's bring us over here, and I'm going to get this skillet because I'm going to start um, taking care of this, this um, chicken. But what I'm going to do, like I always do, okay, so that's a behind the scenes <laughs> blumber and bleep. My camera person <laughs> dropped the camera! <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to get this foil because like I told y'all, I don't like to do a whole lot of cleanup. So I'm going to take this foil out and I'm going to put it over here on my counter so I can spread this chicken out and season it. So let me get this over here. Get that all down there, just like that. And I'm going to turn up the edges a little bit so I don't get too much of a mess. Okay, and what I'm also going to do is take this apron off because I am hot. And no, I'm not having no personal summers either. It's hot up in here. Now, how do I get out of this thing? As a matter of fact, my aprons, aren't they cute? I love, love, love them. I want to be careful because I don't want to mess up the dude. You know, hey, you got to look pretty on these TVs. Okay, there you go. Okay, now, now I'm free. All right, let's get this going. So we're going to get this meat on here. And I probably could have seasoned it on here, but I think that, um. I'm so used to doing things on my foil until, you know, I'm a creature of habit. Are you stirring that continuously? Because I hear a sizzling over there. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you might want to turn it down just a little bit. Now, we're talking about the vegetables over there that we are sweating. Okay, so we're not overcooking them. We're sweating them. Let me get this in here. Okay, let me throw this in the trash. And 
Nothing's burning. It looks like the onions are starting to get brown. Okay, kind of turn them around. And I'm going to spread this out just like this. And you're like, okay, why is she not using gloves? Because I have to feel my stuff, okay? Do you use gloves when you're putting your makeup on? Do you use gloves when you're combing your hair? Do you use gloves when you caress the face of the one you love? No. But afterwards, you can wash them. Anyway, let's take this. Move that over here. Check it out. No touchy, touchy. And I'm going to wash my hands off because I have to touch those vegetables. I mean, the vegetables I do have to touch. But I do have to touch the little seasonings that I'm going to put on here. Okay. And as you see, I like using antibacterial dishwasher detergent. I'm old school. Yes, I am. I'm making sure it's all off there, even if it takes my, hand, my, my skin off my hands. So, let me get over here. Corey, I'm going to need you to start um, um, bringing over what I need here. The first thing that I want to do I want to get the um, Casey's Blessing. I just need the uh, seasoning. Okay, so I'm going to take my Casey's Blessing, and you can take whatever you use at home, whatever flavor you use at home, because it's not about, I don't even tell that to you. Casey's Blessing steps up the flavor of everything. I use it in everything. So trust me, when you're able to get this, it'll be a one-stop shop. Until then, use what you got. So... I'm going to take this, your, um, your vegetables. Okay, if the vegetables are looking good, then you want to turn the fire off and let it sit to the side. Okay. Okay, and as you see, I'm not giving you exact measurements, so we're talking about maybe a half a teaspoonful or two teaspoonful of the Casey's Blessing. Okay, that's the first one. Okay, now if you can pass me the next, these little cups here. So bring me the little cups and I'll just put them over here. And there, okay, and there, and hopefully, guys, I can remember what's in these cups, because I, <laughs> I can't label anything. Okay, so, all right, thank you. Okay, so, first of all, we have our Saison, okay, and that's one packet, and I won't use the whole packet, it's like half and half and half. So, what I'll do, I'll take this out. And I'll sprinkle, I should have left it in a packet. That's what I should have did. But I just want to sprinkle a little bit over this. Just like that to kind of kiss things. I want to kiss it. Kiss them, kiss them, kiss them. There you go. Just a little bit like that. Okay. Get a little bit more in there because we got to turn this over and do the same thing. Okay. Now I'm going to take some of our Larry Season Salt. And I'm going to hit it up with that. Hit it up. Hit it up. Hit it up. Just hit it up with that. There you go. Just like that. It's not hard. You see it's starting to look like it has on a new set of clothes. So then I'm going to take some of that Cajun seasoning. And I'm going to go light with that because although I do like spice, the Casey's Blessing has a little bit of kick in it. So I don't want to overdo with this. Because it's not a full Cajun meal, but my family just likes flavor. Bottom line. I'm going to take the pepper and I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm just going to sprinkle and sprinkle. So, now what I'm going to do is, see, this is real. I want you to watch this trick. This is a good trick when you have things cut up. And you want to flip it to the other side. So, this is what I do. Look closely. I am turning it to one side, just like that. You see? And then I'm going to take it, and I'm going to take the other side, and I'm going to turn. This is why you use foil. Okay? And, excuse me one moment, got to sneeze. Oh, thank you. That pepper got up my nose. Whoa. See, this is why you put too much pepper on stuff. In any case, I'm going to do the same thing again. So I will not bore you with the details. I'm just going to show you what it needs to look like when it's done. And we did it on that side. And we're going to do the next one. And we're going to do the Sazon. And we're going to put that on there. And the magic of television is not here because there's no editing. But <laughs> I'm going to put this on here like that. Oh, yeah. That's how it, I'm, I can't wait till this get done. You know, I've been waiting all day long to eat this stuff. I cannot wait. So I'm going to put a little bit of this Cajun seasoning on this piece. Oh, yeah, the chicken is singing now. Yeah, eat me, eat me. I'm not eating nothing that's raw. You need to know. Okay, so we're going to put that on there just like that. 
Okay, did I hit everything? Y'all tell me if I hit everything. Did I hit everything? I like think it. I hit everything on that side. Yep. So now, what are we gonna do? Tell me what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flip it over because you know what? You never, ever, ever season one side of meat and don't season it up one side to sink the season down the other. Do you put lotion on one side of your leg? No, you put lotion on every part of your body because you don't want to be ashy. Yes, ma'am. Casey, you have a question. Yes. So, well, two questions actually. Uh, if you wanted more foot, more spice, or something later, like could you make it like middle of the road or a little bit spicy, but then could you add some later for the people who want you sure it? could? You sure could. You can do whatever you want with your stuff. Once it's done, you can add because it's gonna have a sauce. So you can add and just stir it around, just like you do with pepper and anything else. However, you're going to have to go light because when you cook something in something versus putting it directly into it, it's going to be, a, the flavor is going to be a little bit more elevated directly. Ooh, okay. And you let know. me give you a heads up. We have some, we have D-Money Savage in the in the house. Hey, D-Money <laughs> Savage. <laughs> we have more people in the, in the, in the place that's enjoying you cooking. Oh, well, um, honey, you're going to love this. Trust me. Okay. So you're going to be doing more money, more money, more money. That's for sure. <laughs> My next question so, was about... Let's I've get this seen, stuff out the way. Thank I've, you. I've seen people do the spices last. So I've seen people go through and almost cook through everything and put the spices on last. Okay, and your question is, should you or should you not? Well, my question is, um, I'm your child, so I know I should not, but just in case somebody in the audience. <laughs> okay, I want to tell you that it's your business that you do things, but I'm going to be on the real. You cannot absorb anything into meat, whether it is a chicken, a cow, a pig, or a person, Okay without doing it beforehand. So, I'll give you a perfect example. If you put your lotion on first before you put your makeup on, say you put your moisturizing your skin, and this is to the ladies out there and whoever wears makeup, okay? If you put the moisturizer on first, it's gonna absorb into your skin, and then you're gonna put your makeup on so it can set right. It's good. Your face is going to be moisturized every pore. But if you put the moisturizer on after the makeup, you're going to take the makeup off. The moisturizer is not going to go into your skin, and you're not going to get the results you want. Never, ever, ever. You can put some things on there afterwards, like salt, because you want to control that. But when you are seasoning something to be cooked, it needs to be seasoned ahead of time. And that's straight from Casey to you. All now, right. let me clean this up. And guess where we going now? Guess. Tell me. Tell me. Do you know? Flavor Town. <laughs> no, we are going to Flavor Town. But we're going to go over here to this skillet. And you know I'm going to hit it up with a little bit of this cooking spray. Because guess what? I don't like for things to stick. And I don't trust manufacturers. And I use these pots every day. Okay. So. If you could do me the great flavor. Do me the flavor. Do me the flavor. I need for you to kind of move this stuff over to that side because I can't cook in a dirty kitchen. It's that, you know, hey, that's just me. So I'm going to take this, put it over here on the side, guys. And then I'm going to wipe my counter down a little. I still have these things over here. I didn't forget about these green onions, these dry green onions, which I love. I love, love, love. And I have some parsley, but we're going to use that a little bit later. Are green onions the same thing as scallions? Yes, well... Yeah, well, no, we have green onions. Well, scallions can some be time be a little bit smaller. And then you have chives. You have green onions and sometimes the bulb of the green onion is about this big. Mm -hmm. So it depends. But they all taste like onions. I'm going to be totally <laughs> honest with you. You know, you want to get fancy with it. They all taste like onions. Okay, I'm going to turn the skillet on. And, of course, I'm going to turn it on high because I want to heat up my olive oil. This olive oil here is probably about a quarter cup. So I'm gonna eat, what's half of a quarter, guys? Tell me the math. An eight. An eight. I feel so good. Good job! Yay! Okay. Yay me! So we're gonna put a quarter cup in here. Why? Because I'm not trying to submerge it. I just want to get it started. Oh, what I didn't tell you guys, can somebody, Corey, get me some chicken broth? Chicken broth. It's in the pantry on the bottom of on the bottom of the pantry. I'm gonna need some chicken broth. Yes, I am. And I'm also gonna need some cream. So I'm going to get this cream. Okay. And I'm going to use this one. This is a new one. Now I bought this cream. 
thinking that it was zero carbs for my coffee. Did I get a surprise? It has one carb, but one carb's not gonna hurt. So, let me get this up here. Let me get that here. I'm gonna take and put the foil away, and I'm gonna check the heat on this skillet. It's pretty There warm. you go, it's ready. Look at that, look at that. Okay, so we're gonna bring it down. This is how you know. See, this is how you keep from getting your tail burnt, because you do that. See that right there? <laughs> you do it again. And I would turn this on because I've got too much smoke up in my house. There you go. We're gonna put that on, and then I'm gonna take this meat, and I'm gonna put this meat in this skillet, just like that, right out of the foil, so I don't have to touch it. Okay. And now this, like that, I have not put. Oh, it's another little piece in there. We can't leave that. Go in there with your family. All y'all got to brown up. Okay. We're gonna bowl ball this up like that. And I'm gonna turn this off because I know it's messing with the sound and annoying me. There you go. So let me get yet another utensil so I can use this. And then I want to show you guys. Okay, we're gonna flatten this out just like that. Now we're gonna try to start browning this. So we're gonna let it and see the way that you can tell that chicken is getting done. You see how the chicken looks now, okay? It looks straight up raw. But as it gets starts to get done, your chicken is going to start to look like this. It's going to start looking opaque, not as shiny, and it's going to turn this color. Now, because chicken breasts cook up pretty fast, you got to be pretty quick with this. So you want to keep this, and like I said, I turned my heat down to a 7. So 7 on my stove is like a medium high. Because I still want it to brown and cook, and I'm just going to let it kind of do its thing right there. Let me get in here, sweetie. So I'm gonna take one of these things out that my lovely husband bought me because he's always buying something for the kitchen even though he doesn't cook a thing. But he wants to keep me equ equipped with all the things that I need. So I appreciate him, yes I do. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this oil because I don't need any more. Get that out of my way. And we're gonna brown this up. That smells good. In the meantime, thank you. In the meantime, I'm gonna take these and we're gonna hit this again, okay? So I'm gonna take these onions and things, these onions and this uh, red onion or shallot. Did I tell you they were shallots? You said they were green onions. No, they were shallots. These I said um, shallots. I said shallots, and shallots are nothing but little teeny tiny red onions. Fancy smancy, okay? You know, I said I'm, I said I'm doing a lot today, so I got, got to show people my skills. I, I know what shallots are. Yes, I do. They're yeah, little teeny tiny onions that are red, little teeny tiny red onions. So I'm gonna take my shallots and my red pepper that has been sweated, mm. and they are not really mushy. They have a little bit of crunch to them, which is great because they still gotta cook some more. And I'm gonna put them in here. I did that. Yes, yes. You did that. Now you have graduated to chef level. Not putting it away. Don't be like I can't cook things. Okay, I didn't say that. You said it. You said not. <laughs> you said not. <laughs> Anyhow, let me take this and I'm making a mess. All right, so I'm gonna take this, and now I gotta attend to those mushrooms. Did you turn the um, hot plate up, hot plate up again? Yes. Okay, she didn't do diddly or squat, y'all. Listen, <laughs> I tell you, around there talking trash to me. Come on up. We have ooh, very pretty. So this is your food looks good, looks pretty. You ain't seen nothing yet. Watch. And Tracy said, "Come on with the show. Okay. I'm hungry. Love ya. And just ring the dinner bell, and I'll be on my way." Okay, sounds good. See, I'm working on that virtual sending food to people. I'm not trying to play. They got all this AI going on. We gonna have some AI stuff going on. Okay, thank you, daughter, for stirring that. Okay, we gonna flip this meat over. Okay, so we kind of doing like a little stir fry thing thing going on here, so we can kind of get all the meat. Just a little bit colored. I'm not trying to cook this meat all the way like this. That's not the dynamic. You just want to get it a little bit brown. Because I'm going to tell you, when I'm finished doing this, you'll be ready to plate this up. Speaking of which, Kari, 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 can you take this pot? And I would like for this pot to be filled halfway, three quarters way with, with water. 
Why do I want this like this? Because you know what? When you have a sous chef, you can make everything faster. <laughs> and I'm gonna put my pasta on while we are making this lovely, lovely chicken. Trust and believe. At this point, I'm in starvation mode, so I'm trying not to get hangry. So please pardon me, pardon ma, yes. So I'm gonna do this. Let me get over here. I'm gonna stick this back over here. This top goes there, Ooh, look at that mess. I tell you, this is why editing is good. Let me get over here. <laughs> All right, we need to put that right there. Okay, so I, what you want to do, you're going to come and you're going to do the, the heat test. Come do the heat test. I'm going to do the heat test. She's so got to do the heat test. So you want to put a little bit of water in there. Just sprinkle it over. Hold on, I, hold on. I have to wash my hands. Yes, yes. wash your hands. <laughs> Don't come in my kitchen with dirty hands. If you put that right there, just the bottom have water on the nut. Okay, make sure the bottom up here, here has no water. Put it down. Good job. Now we're going to do what? We're going to do something that is unconventional that most people don't do, but that's, all, that's me. I'm that kind of girl. So I'm going to take this cooking spray. Cooking spray does everything. Do you know you can oil hinges with cooking spray? Yes, you can. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this in here just like that. And why do I do this? Because I don't want my linguine to stick, but I don't want it sliding all over the place either. So that's it. Corey, if you could take a loop of another cup of water and put it in there, that'd be great. I Are did we ready? It, it didn't dance. Okay, so if it's not dancing yet, then it's not ready. I, know. I want you to take, when it dances, it's starting to dance though, but when it dances, I want you to take these portobello mushrooms right here, and she's going to put them in that skillet and she's going to sweat them too. Mmm, okay. portobello <laughs> mushrooms. Yeah, and we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna see my lovely daughter experiment with her life and widen her horizons and open her palate and eat a portobello mushroom. I'm yes. So excited. Okay, let's get over here, Miss Me. Oh yeah, it's getting just like I wanted to. Yes, it is. So we got our water here for our pasta. I'm gonna turn my heat up on high because guess what we're gonna do today? Rapid boil. Rapid, you rapid boil. If it comes <laughs> off, it's gonna. Oh, I don't do. I don't even know. Listen, you know what? I can't see y'all. I had eye surgery, so I'm sitting here. I'm, I'm, I, vision is impaired. But that only goes to show you. You don't have to be able to see clearly when you've been doing this so long. It's a feeling. It's a feeling. Trust me. So we're gonna put this on high. And when it gets to be a rapid boil, for those of you who don't know what a rapid boil is, which I'm sure you do by now, we're gonna show you. So let me go over here. I'm still stirring. Okay, how's those mushrooms coming over there? Oh, well, they're delightful. Okay, have they gone into the skillet? Yes. Okay, let them sit still. Okay. Okay, you don't want to overcook them. I know. You just want to let them put them, put them back. The, no, put it back because okay. this is quick. Because this is going to go in here and they're going to finish their thing over here. So what I'm going to do now, because I, if you look at, look at this meat. See, you think to yourself, hey, meat, you're cooked. Oh, no, you're not. So we're going to take these wonderful vegetables. Vegetables are good for you. And you put them in here. And see, this is part of my Trinity Girls. See, my Trinity Girls are like the Supremes. It's three of them. But I left one at home today. She, she, she had a sick headache. So we're going to put this over here. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my chicken broth. And I'm going to take this chicken broth and I'm going to open it up. And we have a new viewer just commented. We have Jerome Neal. I'm oh. going to have to agree with Tracy, who said his mouth is watering. <laughs> Jerome is, is coming. Uh, the, the cavalry is coming. Jerome is coming. Trust me. If you believe in this food, then you will know. You won't eat soon. Trust me. <laughs> All right. So let me open up. This is the fruit of life. Butter. <laughs> it makes things all better. Trust me. So let's take this butter and let me open it up. And I'm going to start with half a stick of it. And yeah, I am. And yes, I am going to use a half a stick of butter. Yes, I am. It's going to go right here. That's where it's going to go. You know, life is good. So let me get this back in here. How's my mushrooms coming? Oh, they're so wonderful. Okay, so I'm getting a half a butter 
and I'm gonna stick it in here like this. There you go. I'm putting you look at that. See, you put that right there in the middle. You put it in the middle. So the butter is special. That's why it goes in the middle of the pan. Right there. And I still have this on a medium high. But we're gonna do some 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 um dial down in a minute. Okay? So let me get this over here. And you know what? If I had to put this on the hot plate, it'd be boiling already. I try I believe that, but I didn't want to take the risk because the hot plate was kind of small. So we're gonna put this in here. Yes, we are. And we're gonna let that melt down. Then what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna hit this with a top. I'm gonna let it stay on the medium high because I want the butter to melt. All right, I'm gonna take the camera over to the mushrooms. So okay, so go over second. there. See those mushrooms. So just check out the mushrooms. Coming out great. Those mm -hmm. are perfect. I can use those mushrooms right about now. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Okay. They don't want to, I don't know. They may want to stay on it. They just no, want to stay on the pan. Listen, the mushrooms don't tell me what to do. I tell the mushrooms <laughs> what to do, okay? Come on here, mushrooms. Thank you very much. Hit that. Thank you. Perfect. Let's see what the, yeah, look at that. Let's see. The mushrooms need to take a lesson from the butter. The butter is doing what mama said. So now, <laughs> I'm going to take the mushrooms and put them in here too. Now, mind you, if you're not a mushroom person, this is hard that you don't have to do. It's not going to affect your recipe. We just like them here. And majority rules. Majority <laughs> rules. Thank you very much. Okay? You do not like green eggs and ham, but today you won't eat a Sam I am. Okay, how about that? So oh, we're gonna get we have a question, question. Yes, question. Butter, unsalted or salted? Unsalted is what I like to use because I'm using so many other seasonings. I don't want it to be over salted. I don't buy, un I don't buy salted butter, but you can use salted butter if you want to. You really can. You can I'm sorry, and I'm, I'm looking at my daughter talking to you, okay? <laughs> I think it could be so easy to oversalt when yeah. you use a whole bunch of ingredients. Yeah, exactly. That have salt. Because it's about layering. Exactly. So let me get that in there. Ooh, child. Woo! Mm -hmm. Jimmy says, I just ate and I'm hungry again. Girl, let me tell you. And the thing about it is, even if you can't eat it now, tomorrow it gets that much better. I am here to tell you. Leftovers don't get left over up in this piece, for real. People are like taking numbers now as to who gonna get the last one. You know it's gonna be me, cause I'm up at 345, so. Mm. But anywho, let's keep moving. Ooh, what do we have over here, Corey? Are we seeing a, what are we seeing? Is it almost a what? Almost, not quite there. It's getting there, we got a few more seconds. All right, so we got that in there. So now, check it out. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my, well, this is bone broth. This is really healthy for you, a lot of protein, but just regular chicken broth. And I'm going to take this, and this is about 16 ounces. So I'm going to take eight ounces of this stuff, and I'm going to pour it into this mixture. Mind you, the mixture is on a medium high. Now, do you see it stop percolating or bubbling? Not percolating, because percolating really doesn't mean bubbling. Bubbling. They make you think that in these coffee commercials. That's not true. Now you see what has happened because the broth is cool, room temperature. It kind of stopped the process of the bubbling or the cooking. Not to worry. Leave it on the seven. Now we want to take it and do this because this is going to be part of the lovely sauce that you're going to have when you eat this. So, <laughs> so all the seasoning that you added will also... I'm going to put a little bit more, guys. I don't think I put the half in there. You, what did you say? So the seasoning that you use for the meat and then all that butter and such, all of that's going to end up flavoring the, the uh, chicken broth. You the got it. Mm -hmm. And speaking of all that butter, we're going to take the other half of all <laughs> that butter. This butter helps to emulsify liquids. So... I've said in other videos that I'm not a flower type of girl for everything because all oh, the memories I have of that. People putting flour on their stuff and then stewing it or whatever, and they're not really cooking the flour, and so you have this gummy mess. I'm not trying to do that. It's not necessary. If you use a flour for anything, you dust. And I will show you guys that in one of my other videos. So guess what? That means you got to come back, don't it? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so crazy. <laughs> I would throw this in the garbage can. All right, so let me wash my hands again because I got butter on my hands. I guess you say, Lord, this woman washes her hands 
Yes, I do. All the time, doggone it. Have you ever looked under a microscope? Yeah, I don't think so. So, uh, bathe in that chicken. Got a comment. Bathe in that chicken. You know, and that in the chicken broth. Yes, exactly. So, now I'm going to cover this again. Yet again. Just like that. The butter's going to melt. This is going to come to a nice boil. And then I will turn this down to um, medium low. And let it start cooking because I want it to start thickening up. Okay, and I'm straighten up over here. Now, what do we have, Corey? Come on down. Is it, is, is, it, is it rapidly boiling yet? It does look like a rapid boil. That looks like a... Everybody, rapid boil. Rapid Ooh. boil. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Okay, so pass me that linguine over here. I'm going to show you a little trick that I do with, ling with any kind of pasta. So what I do is I take the pasta... And I do like this, and you know, this is just for, for television purposes, I do not have no pasta on no plate. <laughs> I used to take it right out, the, right out the bowl, but you know, I gotta be all prissy for the first show, I gotta reel y'all in. So, let's get this, and I'm gonna take half of it. And what I normally do is, I kinda get them like this, and I will break them. But I do it slowly, because if you do it too fast, what's gonna happen, it's gonna fly all over the place. And I take them, and then I sprinkle them in. I make it rain. Yes, we I have did. a couple of uh, angry Italians now. Oh, well, you know what? Hey, I'm from the south side of Italy, okay? How about that? And on the south side of Italy, we break them. We break them. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Little Italy, that is, because I live near there in New York, so. <laughs> that's where I'm, that's where <laughs> Not the real Italy, little Italy. And in Little Italy, where I live in my house, this is how we do things. Because this is Casey's way. Well, we're at, that's what I was going to say. So if you don't want to break your pasta, don't break your pasta. You don't have to break you your pasta. If you want yours al dente, and you like the taste of that, that what? Do you, boo? Do you, do you. That's how it is. That's what cooking is all about. See, people get up tight because they think, I got to do it just like her. It has to look just like her. Everything has to be like her. No. You take these recipes and you make them your own. You make up recipes and you make them your own. Don't ever let anybody tell you that you gotta do something the way they do. So break your pasta if you yeah. want to. Stand up for your right and see you go. <laughs> okay, so now that I have that in there, I need to get yet another spoon because I need to, I think what I'm gonna do with that, I would probably just get a fork and I'm gonna stir that around just like that. Another comment we have, Casey, you are so full of life and energy. Let me tell you something. When you get to be 61 years old, there's no time to sleep, no time to rest, no time to do anything other but live every day to its fullest. I want everybody to understand nothing is promised to you. And because it is not, you got to do you whenever you can, all the time you can. Hey, I'm going to sleep when I'm six feet under and I'll probably come back and cook then. So, <laughs> That's how that works. Let's get that in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I want to get me another one of these. Now, I'm going to put this over here, and I'm going to come back, and I am going to do what? What are we going to do? Y'all know, say it all together. We are going to check the chicken. chicken. Okay, look at that. See, now you see how rapidly that's boiling? Just that quick, that chicken start to boil. So, now, I'm going to close that up. I'm going to take it down. We're going to go down. We're going to go down. We're going to go to three. How about that? Okay. Right. And we're going to start cooking this liquid. We want to reduce the liquid. We don't want it all to go away, but we want to reduce it. Why? Because as you reduce your liquid, it starts to thicken. In about, I'm going to give it maybe three minutes, and then I'm going to start pouring my cream in here, and that's going to help it thicken more. And you're just going to cook it while this pasta is cooking. And after that, I'm going to tell you like this. You're going to be almost finished, but not just yet. You thought I forgot, didn't you? What do you think I forgot? Oh, what's my, oh, what's that? my lovely little green onion. Oh, green onion. My onion. I'm going to sprinkle that over here. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Why do you have uh, two different kinds of onions? Because even though onions taste like onions, you have some onions that taste sweet. The redder ones are more sweet. The ones that are white tend to be a little less sweet and a little tangy, but the the um 
yellow onions, they're more pungent. And so each onion has its own distinct flavor, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. So that's why. And I like the color. I'm gonna be real, it's cute. <laughs> so, thank you. I'm gonna get that in there and I think I'm gonna turn it up a little bit more because I want it to reduce. So maybe I'll get it back to a six. How about that? Okay, let me rinse this fork yes. off now because I stuck that in the chicken. I peeped that. Yep. Y'all had me talking. I got distracted. So I gotta wash the fork now. Even though at this point, any salmonella that would exist in that chicken has been boiled to death. But because me being me, I'm not gonna trust that. So this linguine, now I'm gonna tell you like this, right about now in about two minutes, people who want al dente pasta will be more than satisfied with this. Mm -hmm. However, I'm not that kind of girl because I need for my stuff to be just a little bit softer. Yes, I do. So <laughs> you have uh, in the comment, rapid boil. Yes, rapid boil, rapid boil, rapid boil, yes. Okay, so let's see what we got going over here. Do we got we got a rapid boil going in here? Yeah, Wait, we see. have a rapid boil contest. Let's see who's going faster. All right, that's looking really nice and Oh my goodness. Oh so child. Mm -mm. See y'all thought the only thing I could cook was down home soul food. I'm telling you, I am cultured. Okay. I can cook everything. It's just my way. That's all. Hey. And I want you to be able to do that. I want you guys to get to the point where you say, hmm, I don't want to go to Chipotle's. Guess what? I'm going to fix my own. It's going to taste better. And you're going to be happier. And your pocket's going to be happier too. Because you're going to get more for your money. I'm not telling you don't ever go out to eat. But don't make that the mainstay of your life. Okay? Eat some food at home. It's not going to kill you. It's going to make you feel better. It really will. So let's check this out. See, see right now, this is the al dente thing. And you're like, oh, she's sticking her hands on hot. Girl, let me tell you something. You have to be quick. The pain doesn't hit for a couple of seconds. <laughs> 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 All right, so this is cooking down and I'm gonna get to the point where I'm going to do something called a tent. And they call this a tent because you're gonna slightly slant your top. Give it a little air. You don't want the top to be all the way off. I'm gonna take it up to seven. Yes, I am. Okay, because we got a lot, we have a lot of uh, oil. Uh, oil. <laughs> we got a lot of liquid in here. Okay, well, oh, let's turn this down because it all oh, percolate. This is bubbling. Hey, why do you have to be seen? Just, just, just chill. You challenged it. To uh, the yeah, I see. I, I see. Okay, chicken. chicken is not winning. <laughs> He's okay. It's okay. Yeah, popping all over my stove. What is wrong with you? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I'm gonna tent you too. How about that? <laughs> okay, that's what you get. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here and get this. I need to move the stuff out the way. We got to start cleaning up because after I finish this, I'm going to be so tired until I don't want to have to wash these dishes. I don't know about anybody else. So, well, how about the sous chef stuff there? Man? Can you that is perfect. See, this, let me tell you something. This is why you have the couples because the other half of the couple, hey, they do, they do their thing. They do their thing. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yay, couples! <laughs> As you can see, my family is daft. For real, for real. <laughs> you know, we, yeah, we, we, yeah, we, we, we something. Okay, let me get this stuff up. This stuff is like leaking all over the place, and I'm getting highs because I'm having an anxiety attack because I see mess on my stove. And I can't be living like that. I'm going to take this and I'm going to move this out the way. And I put this in the refrigerator. Don't ever open up a, a, a container of any of your broth and you have some left and put it back in your pantry or whatever. That's not going to do. Trust me, it'll be molded in a day. So put that in there. That is perfect. Okay, let me check on this. Mm, your family got characters. They sure do. <laughs> All day. Oh, listen. 
And the thing about it is, in any given day, they can change. <laughs> Listen, any of you guys who know me, okay, you know I'm out of my mind. I really am. I'm, I'm, I'm so far out there. But you know, it's all in fun. It's all in fun. Life is too short to be serious all the time. You know, and hey, this is me all day, every day, 365. I'm here to tell you. I told you when you come here, you're going to have big fun. I never lie. Okay, so this is cooking down. I wanted to cook down. I'm going to take this and I'm going to bring it up to nine. Because I'm getting really hungry and I want this to cook down. And I want to get my cream in here. Okay. And y'all, this lipstick is getting on my nerve. So I'm taking it off. And soon I'm going to do a pack with Belle and take these shoes off in a minute. Okay, y'all need to know. <laughs> Gotta be comfy in the kitchen. So what do you think so far? How y'all think this is looking? It's looking mighty tasty. Ooh. Okay. Delicious. Put the heart click the heart button. Click the heart button if it looks good. Yes, good tell me. Tell me something good. Oh, we got mm -hmm. lots of heart. Lots of heart. There you go. Whoop. There you go. Ooh, yeah, this is we got about two more minutes on this for this to be my family's kind of pasta. Yeah. I oh my goodness, the hearts are still going. I am enjoying myself immensely. You do not know how nervous I was to do this. Okay, even though y'all are family, you know, I have not had the opportunity to, to be this close to you like this. This is blowing my mind. Oh my you, gosh, just more hearts. It's blowing my mind. <laughs> it really is. It is blowing my mind. Um, Casey, yes. get a zesty one. And there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Thank you. All I can be is me, you know, and that's all I expect anybody to be. Don't ever try to let anybody dim who you are. Whatever that light is, let it shine. Whoever you are, be who you are all the time. There's nothing wrong with who you are. You are getting a love fest. The I'm love talking. and the celebration uh, emojis are flying up the side. And I, I feel the same way. You know what, guys? I'm going to tell you like this. If this is something that you like, I can do this every week. And what I want you to do for me, I want you to send me your suggestions of some things you want to cook. I'll get it, the information, send you out the ingredients, and we can do something called a cook with me. And we can cook along with each other. Then you're going to tell me how it tastes. How about that? Oh, wow. You guys are setting it off in the comments. <laughs> this is lovely. Oh, I'm going to take this. Guess what I'm going to do now? Okay. Cream. Cream it up. We're going to put some cream in this in, in, in this here thing. Okay, so I'm going to put about a cup of cream in here. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, child. And mm -hmm. why do you need the cream? The cream is going to help thicken your lovely lovely chicken sauce hey does anybody know did i say anything about the marry me chicken yeah, i sure did it, you know thing. what this, Child, this, this is longevity, longevity chicken man i'm here to tell you okay long longevity sometimes you may say hmm, maybe i don't want to cook this because how long do i want long to be you know? <laughs> <laughs> don't do that you know but Hey, I'm telling you, this, this is like some magic sauce. And not just this, everything. You guys got to check out my, my channel. Like I said, I don't like to toot my own horn, okay? But the food is good. It really is. Look at me. I can't stop eating it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start cooking some things that are a little bit less caloric, you know, so I can get some of these hips and stuff off of me. Okay, however, everything is in moderation. I don't think that you should have to say no to anything. It's just not doing it all the time. Yeah. You know, really, you need to, food should not be a source of fear. Food should be something that you embrace, that you love, that you share with people that you love. That's my opinion. Share with people that you love like me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let me tell y'all, they've been waiting forever to find out the stuff that I cook. 
And see, because I'm not the type of person who does recipes, I'm learning because I'm working on a book for y'all. But I just know it's almost like chemistry for me. So because it's like chemistry for me, I'm like, I, yeah, you know, just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I guess that's where the song came from. You know, that's, that's why I wrote it like that. But I'm telling you, if I'm no longer here on this earth, my children, if nothing else happens with this channel, I may never become rich and famous. I would love to do this full time. Yes, I would. You would really make me happy. But if it never happens, this is a chronicle of everything that I've ever cooked for my children to be able to look at and remember. And that's enough for me. So let me check this out. It says, you are your grandmother's child. Woo, child. Yeah. That's a pants at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I'm going to take this. And we are going to drain it. I want to sit it to the side, so I'm going to turn it off. This is the linguine. Okay, so we're going to drain this. Yes, um, Corey, where are you? Can you take that sponge out of, out of there? Because I don't want the sponge to melt. Okay. Let's make sure this is big enough. Okay, so now hurry up. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to shock the heck out of it. I'm taking this, and I'm going to... Put some cool, I'm gonna cool it down a little bit. Cause see, I wanna stop the cooking process at this point. I do not want it to continue to cook because then it'll be beyond how I like for my um, pasta to be. And so I'm gonna cool it down just a teeny tiny bit. Not all the way, just like that. Here, let, let, let's spray it. How about we spray you? Yeah. Okay, so now that's enough of that. So let's get this here. I'm gonna drain some of this water out of here. Now what I'm gonna do while this meat is continuing to cook, I am going to let the water drain out of this. Cause I'm gonna tell you, if you don't properly drain your pasta, what happens is when you meet the sauce with it, if your sauce was thick, it won't be anymore. So you wanna make sure when you do spaghetti or any type of pasta that the pasta is completely dry. Okay, so I'm gonna sit that pasta in the pot. I'm gonna put this top on it just like that there. I'm going to put it back here on the back eye of my cooktop, and I'm going to do what? Wipe my countertop clean. And Corey's going to wring that sponge out so it doesn't get all over the floor. Okay. <laughs> Let me get this in the garbage can. And you know what? I'm getting real thirsty. Corey, can you give me a, a cup out of there? I need some ice and some water. But you know, all this talking, hey. My mouth is getting dry. What about y'all? Why don't y'all grab some water? We almost coming to the whole stretch. Can says delicious. Okay, so now there's one ingredient that you wonder. Well, actually, I have two more ingredients that I'm gonna bring over here. And this is the cream of celery. Now I don't normally use cream of celery, matter of fact, but I like the flavor of celery. And because I didn't use it in my Trinity this time, I am going to take this cream of celery. And the cream of celery is going to help along with the sauce. So, I'm going to put this in here. It says, don't forget to clean your counter space. Oh, <laughs> trust and believe. Let me get this cream of celery in here. See, just like that. You answered my question. I was going to ask, why did you use the cream of celery instead of just the celery? But it's supposed to do help with the sauce. Right. It's, this is about thickening your sauce and while giving it. See, look at that. Do you see what I'm saying? You see what's happening? Just that quick, this cream of celery is doing this thing. Every single component of this dish, everybody has a place. They are, they are equal partners in the grand scheme of this delicious dish. So... I'm gonna let it cook. I'm gonna do that. And see, it's gonna come back up. And the thing at this point now is, like I said, is, is how it has to reduce. But guess what? This is the game chamber. Bam. 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 You can do what you want. <laughs> okay, one moment. Okay, let's get that over here. And I'm going to stir, 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 and then I'm going to clean, 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 and then I'm going to drink some water. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh, yeah. Okay, we got to bring this down. Just let it cook, cook. And see, now at this point, you're done. 
You gotta wait for this sauce to thicken up and we're letting it reduce. Okay, so I'm bringing up the heat and I'm letting it reduce. Now, when you're not starving like my family is and they're sitting here with the drool hanging out their mouths, <laughs> you can go a little bit slower, you know? Matter of fact, let me put a little bit, um, a little bit more cream in there, so like another little drop before I put this back. And then, we're gonna let this keep boiling, and I'm gonna take it up another notch. I'm taking it up to high. Now, when you do stuff like this, you cannot move away from your stove because the chances of this sticking can happen. But because I am an expert, yeah, right, I'm going <laughs> to stand right here and I'm going to do my magic stir. And the magic stir says everything going to be all right. Yes, it does. Okay, so we get these over there. Oh, nice job. Are these all dry? Um, yes. Okay, cool. So we put these away. Because when we sit down to eat, we don't want to have to do any work at all. Any more. <laughs> Starting now. Okay, so I'm going to get a sip of water. And I'm just going to watch it go. Because it's beautiful. Do we have any questions? Um, drop your, your questions in the comments while we're letting the, the food reduce. You can ask me anything. Almost anything. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Okay. We're almost at the home stress, everybody. Corey, grab me some plates. If, yeah. And yeah. Well, you, can, you can do four. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna stir this a little, little, little. Nobody has any questions? You gonna trust me? I love it. Here's your, here's your moment. Cause after this, then I'm gonna go back into hermit land. Until next week, that is. <laughs> Guess what? I have the most delicious barbecue rib baked in the oven recipe. Child, Ooh, let me tell you. That's a good question. Oh, okay. Yet another question from the peanut gallery. What's up? No, it's not me. I'm not the it's not the Well, it's not you? Yeah. Okay. So if I ask the question, I'm the peanut gallery. <laughs> but if you guys ask the question, it's fine. That's because <laughs> I love you. <laughs> yes, okay. I do. Janice says, is there anything you consider difficult to cook? Uh, probably human being, but I could probably make no. you taste good. Oh, God, <laughs> no. I could probably make you taste good, too. But is it anything, so maybe difficult in a different way. So, like, um, is it something maybe labor-intensive? Oh, well, I'm going to tell you like this. If you look at my video, uh, well, pretty much, <laughs> pretty much everything is labor-intensive for me. And you know why? Because I am a clean freak. So, I have a video that specifically a short about cleaning chicken wings. When I cook chicken wings, it takes about three hours. Why? Because an hour and a half of that is cleaning everything off that chicken wing until it shines. I cut them up, I cook them up, and they're the most delicious thing ever. I will say um, pork neck bones and pig feet. Because you know, pig feet have whiskers. So these people who are taking these pig feet and rinsing them off and, and talking about putting them in some vinegar, oh no, no, no. You need to take a look at them puppies Okay, they have whiskers on them between the toes, all up and down the feet, everything. So, you have to really clean them and it's labor intensive. Collard greens may be labor intensive because I'm not eating nothing behind no worm. I gotta cut out every hole, I have to, so, yeah. But you know what? It is worth every minute that I spend because the results always are fantastic and to see the looks on the people's faces that are eating my food is worth me taking that time you know you can always pre-prep stuff a lot of times you make enough of it put some away and it tastes even better when you reheat it so you have it for the next time you may want to have some collard greens two weeks from now but if you freeze them you can reactivate them and put them with your dinner so there are things you can do. I'm going to start also doing some quicker meals that you can do throughout the week, that you can do in about 30 minutes, you know. So 
There are things that you can do. Trust me. My mother worked a full-time job in the hospital. We came home from school every day. There was four of us. Everybody had a different meal on that table. I believe you me. And she cooked it all. So, and that was back in the day. So now, oh, let me get over here. See, this is what I'm saying. So now you want to turn it down. <laughs> yes, she cooked for the dog. She made our dog liver and onions. Yes, she did. She made the dog liver and onions. She made the turtle. She, uh, they were freeze-dried shrimp. He, she would take the freeze-dried shrimp and she would reanimate them and heat them up. She took, uh, what do you call it, uh, sunflower seeds that were salted, rinsed all the salt off, um, so soaked the salt off, and then rebaked them for the hamster. Yes, yeah, she did it. <laughs> yes, yeah, she did it. God rest her soul, she did it all. She was the best mother that anybody could ever have. Trust me, and I'm not just saying it because she was my mama. She was the best mother that anybody could ever have. There's no way in the world I could have gotten through my life with not some of the things that, that she's instilled in me and just genealogy altogether. She was the best mother ever. But I still cook better than she does. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she did, rather. But yeah, she was the best mother ever. And like I said, you can do it. Don't ever say what you can't do. You can do whatever you put your mind into because it's about time management, really. You know, it really is. At my age, I still work a full-time job, sometimes 16, 17 hours a day. And there's a hot meal on this stove. It may not be extravagant, but it doesn't always have to be. Because, you know, your family, they like pretty much whatever you cook. You just have to cook it. Oh, see, look, 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 look. Y'all look at this. See this? Do you, do you, do you see what I'm, do you see the sauce? Yes. Do you see the sauce? Tell me you see the sauce. Y'all, 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 clap, do something. Raise, Woo! raise your hand. <laughs> raise your hand if you see oh, this sauce. You have all of these hearts coming. Oh my this gosh. Sauce. Is this not the bomb? Okay, so now this, this deserves, and I don't care if y'all like if I can't sing. Okay, now. You are so beautiful to me. Can't you see? You're everything I hope for. I can't wait to eat. Give me that plate. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Okay, we're going to take this. Let me get my fork. Janice says that's some good sauce. Lord child, we're gonna turn look look look, we're gonna turn this off. Bam! There All you right. go. We're gonna take this and we're gonna get this. And I'm gonna put that in there just like that. Okay. Cause we have to make it all cute now. We're gonna put a little bit on there, just like that. Okay? Let me get off. Get off, get off, get off. You know you wanna be eating. Okay, put that back on there. So now what I'm gonna do, I need my ladle. Do you see a ladle over there? Uh, I see them right here. Yes, please do. Okay, I'm going to take that. Ooh, child! Mm, 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 mm. Y'all get the camera. We got to take a picture of this here. I'm right. Okay, so let's count. One, two, two, two and a half, two and three quarters. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I can't wait to get this in my mouth. Mom! Look at it, yo! Look at this gravy, y'all! Look at this. That, that, that. that look good. Whoa! Hey, I'm not done yet. One moment. Did you think I forgot? <laughs> no. They laughing at you. Okay, look at that. Look, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, who gets to taste it first? Not you, me. <laughs> okay, let me get this out of here. Y'all, who y'all want? Y'all tell me who y'all want to taste this first. Y'all, y'all get the vote. The chef, you. The chef. The chef. The chef. Is every? I'm talking about my peeps out there. What you say? Oh, who gets? Oh, all oh, these hearts. Who should taste it first? You know it should be KC. She cooked it. Okay. Let's go. Let me see. It's hot. So the chef. Janice says the chef. But you did the chef. Oh, I'm not a chef, but thank you. No, I'm just her. somebody's mama, child. 
It's so hot. Oh God. Mm. Ooh. Okay. show you show him on camera so y'all just need to know this now that look good it's hot though we gotta blow blow it blow 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 you're gonna burn your mouth come on can't wait do you see this okay look at that look at that okay time to drop the phone yes 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 now everybody let me tell you do you see this this is gonna be gone. I'm not gonna have any leftovers. This is not fair, okay? I worked hard on this. <laughs> but you know what? This is what it's all about. That's home cooking. And if you like this recipe, if you like this live, hey, show me some love. Hit that like button. Remember to hit your notification bell so you always will know when I am coming at you with a new recipe. And as always, Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And until next time, you know what I wish you. What I wish you guys. Love, love peace, and, and a whole lot of joy. See you on the flip side. Bye-bye. Okay. Is it over? Is it over? Is it over?